Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Morgan Harris. A big loss for a local store that helps special needs students. Thieves stole much needed money that's used to fund scholarships. Kimberly Donahue spoke to the leader of the school for a story that's only on four. We really believe that if we can help kids and families in any way that we can, we should. That goal stalled for Miriam's switching post after a Grinch stole days worth of earnings from the store. Workers say sometime after the store closed Saturday night, a thief stole an unknown amount of cash from the shop. We work so hard to earn that money, and that's why there were a lot of tears last night when people heard about what had happened. Meg Bamford is the head of Miriam Schools and Learning Center. The private schools provide special education for K-12 through students. The Learning Center gives resources for roughly 1,600 families with special needs children throughout the St. Louis area. And so if kids uh, learn differently, they need to get what they, you know, what they need to, to be the best person they are. All money earned at the switching post goes towards scholarships to help children with special needs attend one of Miriam's schools. The theft comes during a normally bright time of year for the store. Saturday marked the start of the holiday extravaganza, an annual fundraiser that raises money to go towards scholarships. The store closed its doors Sunday to regroup after the break-in. We uh, look forward to it every single year. It brings the community and our volunteers together. The volunteers have spent weeks preparing for this. and It is a significant chunk of our annual money. Meg says what's most upsetting is that the money was meant to give opportunities to children in need, hoping the thief can find it in their heart to return what's theirs. These are kids and these are kids' lives and Miriam works to change the trajectory of children's lives every single day and this store is, is one of the main mechanisms for doing that so please uh, you know we beg you just to, to give it back so that again you can help the kids that really really need it this is their way to school in Brentwood Kimberly Donahue first alert four the shop says they are reworking their holiday extravaganza fundraiser. They'll reopen on Tuesday. We'll have details on how you can support Miriam schools. Just look for this story on your first alert for news app. New